Donald Trump has been trashing Hillary Clinton for bringing her husband on the campaign trail. Mm. And Bill was just asked about this <laughs> by correspondent <laughs> Cecilia Vega, ABC correspondent Cecilia Vega. Take a look. Donald Trump says your past is fair game. I've got to ask you, you keep coming up on the trail with him. Is it fair game? The Republicans have to decide who they want to nominate. I'm trying to tell now the Democrats in the country why well, I think Hillary would be the best president. And I think there's always attempts to take the election away from the people. So, mm -hmm. if, no, he didn't really answer the question. Well, no, what, but I'm why like should he? Why, why should, should he? He's spoken like a true politician. Because well, yeah, what, that's <laughs> what he is. Equivocating? Equivocating? That's what they do. They, I mean, they, yeah, I don't have to look that word up. Forgive me. I'm equal still Equal voices. They, they, equal you. voices. They, you know. it, is, it is a bit of a campaign issue at the moment because she, Hillary is in a quandary, in my opinion, because she's talking about violence against women and sexual harassment and all mm -hmm. that stuff, and her husband has a checkered past, let's put it, to he put does. it mildly. So she is in a bind. He's not, he's not <clears throat> perpetrated violence against women. Well, there he's are, had a fair. There, well, are, there are, are accusations. There are, oh, say, that's right. there, there are, there are accusations. There are yes. accusations, but there are three women that claim that he did things right. to them that they didn't want. One of them is Paula Jones. Remember her? Yes, yes Juanita Broderick, Kathleen Willey, and they say that he either exposed himself to them, rape them, or grope them. Again, and these are three accusations. This has nothing to do with Hillary running for president. No, it doesn't. It has actually. nothing to do with. Well, he's, it puts oh, he's her in denied, a bind, doesn't it? Though? He's because denied all of those. It puts her in a bind. How? On the other hand, I, you know, on the other hand, it's her policies that really matter. Yeah. Like Republicans have voted against the Violence Against Women Act. Now that to me is more important than anything that Bill Clinton did or didn't do because it's what she's going to vote for, how she's going to lead the country that matters more than that. It's also but the fact on that on the other she hand, he is a dog. Let's face it's it. It's also the fact that she stood by her man in time of crisis and all the drama that he went through through his own pregnancy shows her own strength. Presidency. But presidency. Not pres pregnancy. Not pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Hillary. That's funny. Well, she's a little long you. in the tooth for that. <laughs> brought this on herself, though, because she was the first one yeah. to bring up Trump and call him a sexist against women. And you know yeah. that well, Trump like... hits back even harder. If he gets attacked, he goes back. He's a he hits yes, back. Really he hits back. She was not the first one to bring it up. She was not the first person to bring it up. She and he does said that he had a penchant for sexism. The, and she is responded. not the first person to bring up Trump's right. No. Disrespect to yes. women. That's all mm -hmm. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and secondly, she's a front runner, so it matters. It, but it does. It doesn't matter because she's not the first person to say this, and it is quite clear that he has been disrespectful yeah. to women. Now, if we're to take this scenario, mm -hmm. does that mean certain presidents would not have gotten elected because their wives were alcoholics? That's exactly the, what. That's what Kimberly on well, Twitter that's said. The point. That that's is, the, the I mean, same thing. thing. It's a valid Who's point. Kimberly on Twitter. She said the exact same thing. Yeah. We'll be saying <laughs> if anyone oh, else. Kimberly. <laughs> Yeah. She's watching. She's a part yes. of our panel. So <laughs> the fact is, if you're going to look into anybody else's past, yes. spouse's and past, does it matter? And she stayed married to her husband. She stayed married to him. She now, Donald, married. you also have had three wives. Do we... No, 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 don't applaud, because it's not, it's not an indictment. But once you open that door, what are you doing? What you are do, what you Donald Trump is doing, that's all that should be mattering. Doesn't matter what her husband did. Doesn't matter what your wife did or where she's from or what any of those other secondary folks. Have, I don't mean secondary, but what the the wives are now first husbands or whatever hey, whatever, whatever they are yeah have first done. Teams. It has nothing to do with them. This is about what you're going to do for the country. Well, she but she has a problem because uh, people when she didn't leave him. They said she was an enabler. If she leaves him, then she's abandoning her family. So a woman is in a very <clears> difficult <throat> position when her husband cheats on her. Really? Well, uh, you know, because you have children, you have a family. You don't want to just break so up the family. So did Trump. Well, he's another case. Well, he's a man. I'm talking but about what, a woman. But it's there's, unfair. but there's, the, the, there is the that's the quandary you're talking yeah. about. The double standard. I do want to yeah. say something, and I, I totally understand where you, I think where you were coming from too is that it's like the pot calling the kettle black when Trump responds to, to the sexism. I do want to mention the Paula Jones uh, yeah. the, with with Bill Clinton. They did settle that in a civil suit. But I think it's just it it's a danger to Hillary in terms of possibly discrediting her with women. We hear about Hillary relating to women, and when you have all these accusations of of your husband, it, it could potentially hurt I'm sorry, her. Wasn't he fault. impeached? Wasn't it's he? Fault. Didn't he go? Didn't, I'm hers. sorry, I remember a trial. Am I crazy? Yeah, no, you're right. Didn't, you're not, you're right. didn't they take him to task for that? <laughs> you're right. You're right. Okay, all right. I just wanted to. I just, <laughs>
You know. I, I think it's not her fault. It's not her I fault, Raven. I get what you're saying, but when there are accusations of sexual assault and you're going to go out on the campaign trail and tell victims to come forward, and and you're not trying to necessarily address say, your own husband's assault, I think no, that's I, where it could. I think so that we don't know her. what. I don't think we know what she addressed. She could have whooped his behind behind doors. She could. We don't know what Hillary did, right. but she's still standing by that person and she's still fighting for and the, the underdog him. and she Again. didn't abandon him. And also, I don't think it's fair. We act childish <laughs> looking at this other person's life just because it's right here. It's, it's happening for the first time in our history. Again, Therefore, we're trying to find ways it's, to bring her it's down. Pol I that's People have to understand, it's policy. Uh, Teddy Kennedy, remember Chappaquiddick? Am I the oldest, oldest person no, in the room? No, I remember okay. that. Chappaquiddick, I mean, <laughs> he, a girl drowns and he abandons her and he drowned. And pe women still voted for Teddy Kennedy. Why? True. Because he voted for women's rights. That's why. That's the bottom line of it, in my opinion. I mean, I don't like either one of them, to tell you the truth, Teddy or Bill. But they're both dogs, as far as I'm concerned. But I still will vote for Bill Clinton because yeah. he votes in my favor. And Bill still has an extraordinarily sorry, high yeah. approval rating. He still, I still, a lot of people in this country still love him, a 56% approval rating. Well, so. I, this is all I'm going to say. Leave the spouses alone. And there's that. Get, get, leave the spouses alone because I got to tell you, we don't know what's in anybody's backyard. And whatever families are dealing with, they should have the right to deal with it amongst themselves. Yeah. Eleanor Roosevelt put up with it, too. Remember that? And lots of that people did. Going back. I, yeah. I say the spouses are fair game, but you got to leave the children alone. Um, no, spouses are not fair game because mm. we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>